My name is Marcia Stevens, and I found out about this project from my daughter, Shamar Beda Banza, and it was something that was published, in, I think, in the papers that about on brought the property where the Fugitive Slave Chapel was located, and they wanted to use that property for a parking lot. So a lot of people in London got together in order to form a committee so that we could restore the property and move it to a new location. I have helped in the digging between June and July. I helped to dock some of the artifacts. I know I'm able to clean those artifacts so the archaeologists can do their research on it to determine the historic value of these artifacts. Um, is there anything interesting you'd like to share about working with the Fugitive Slave Chapel artifacts? I do because do you look at um, some of the things that were found like for example there was a bottle from 1861 and it's all intact with the doctor's name and just finding those things it really tells you a lot about how people lived in those days and what they've been through and what they do to survive. Yeah I really enjoy volunteering because it's a part of my history and it helped me to appreciate what people in the past have done for me to reach this stage in my life and have the freedom and live the life that I live because it's all because of their blood and their sweat that I'm able to achieve what I've achieved today. Um, would you recommend uh, other people to volunteer? I think a lot of people should volunteer because London has plays a big role in the railroad, railroad, underground railroad, railroad. So I think it's very important for everyone to volunteer and be a part of it, especially the black community, because that's a big, significant part of our history. Um, anything you would like to add to end it off with? Um.